Welcome back. Let's continue where we stopped. Let's see, so we finished the prologue. Now I think what we want to get, what we want to do is uh, go ahead and start the. Uh, would it be in chapters? Yes, collection of stories chapter. All right, to the heroes of Tamriel, Euron the Scald King has dispatched agents to Western Skyrim to investigate and deal with the threat not only to Skyrim, but to all of Tamriel. Find the Scald King's agent in solitude, the capital city of, city of Hafingar Hold. All right, so let's go over there. I think I'll just, uh, yeah, let's do that right there. There's no time. Take this. Keep it safe. Wait, what are you giving me? Information. The Ice Reach Coven. At work in the West. I just need more proof. Go, they're coming. Uh, who's coming? The ones who attacked you? Don't trust them. Only Lyris. She's... You there. What did that fugitive tell you? Okay, looks like uh, we're a little bit low on volume here. Should do it. <clears throat> well, he told us not to trust them except uh, Luris, so we're not going to tell him. Who are you? Another spy? What did this lying Easterner say to you? I was just going about my business when I saw that he was injured. Assisting a fugitive is a crime in Hafingar Hold. Unless you want to find out how we deal with traitors and spies, tell me what he said to you. Well, he died before he could say anything. Lucky for you. If he had told you any seditious lies and you decided to keep them from us, you'd have been in real trouble. Sure. Don't stick your nose where it doesn't belong. Solitude doesn't take kindly to instigators or strangers. And mark my words, you'd rather not get on the wrong side of the High King's guard. Sure. Go on. Just remember, I'll be keeping an eye on you. All right, so I use Brondol's papers. All right, a scrap of paper with hurried writing scrawled in a shaky hand sits on top of the pile. Brondold, the guards came asking about you. They were rattling their scabbards at anyone they could find. I'm scared. I hid your horse in the woods. I'll wait in the barn by the stables outside the city but only for one more day. An official looking form with an annotation states, Declaration of Customs, Port of Dep Departure, Sentinel, Port of Arrival, Solitude, Cargo of Loaded, Three Barrows, Oasis Water, Four Crates, Scarven Housewares, Five Crates, Thorstard Pottery, One Crate, Sentinel Canteens. Okay, so let's follow the cryptic directions.
front holds hidden belongings. All right. <clears throat> There's a letter to, R to Lyris tucked between the covers. Lyris, if you're reading this, I never made it to our meeting at the Blue Palace. I'm likely either dead or in the dungeon, but I was able to send word your way. I don't have solid proof that this ice rich coven you're hunting isn't half in your hold, but something's rotten in the capital city of Solitude. I know I'm on the right trail. Unfortunately, it seems they know it too. I wish I had more information for you. I'm sorry. Bring what I found to Queen Gerhild. She's more level-headed than the High King. Without her influence, I doubt you'll even be allowed to see High King's Vagrim. All right, come on, back. All right, let's let's deal with this one first. Wait, did it just summon a bear? I think it did. All right, we couldn't finish reading that. probably in here somewhere. No entrance. Stay back! I'll do it! I'll stab you! I mean it! One step closer, and I'll stick you like a hawker! I'm not here to hurt you. I need to talk to you about Brondold. I don't know any Brondold. That is what I told the guards, and that is what I'm telling you. I don't want any more trouble. You make me stab you, and it's my word against yours. Brundold's dead. He left me with a handful of papers and a lot of questions. Dead? Stone's mercy. But I'm next, aren't I? I promise. I don't know anything. I won't make any trouble. I'll disappear. I don't even like it here. You'll never see me again. I didn't kill Brundold. Just tell me what this is all about. He... He did not tell me a lot. Said he was tracking some bad people. Asked me to keep an eye out for any unusual comings and goings. He'd come by now and then with a sweet roll and a few coins for my trouble. He was nice. And did you see anything out of the ordinary? The last time we spoke, it was about the men with the job postings. A pair of wolves in sheep's clothing. Trying to blend in, but still off around the edges. Same with their horses. Sheared mountain mares. Come from the reach, I wager. Job postings? Flyers. They were hanging them at the inn around the city. Something about a lucrative opportunity in the Druidic Mountains. I really did not pay them a lot of attention. I was more interested in the men distributing them. So what are you going to do now? Take Brondel's horse and run before someone less friendly comes to find me. Bron was going to take me back east after he finished here. I want to live where strangers are welcomed with a smile instead of a scowl. I hear Windhelm is like that. Are the people here that suspicious of strangers? We are stuck between the despot of Marka and the Scold King of the East. Both sniff around like wolves, waiting for a moment of weakness to strike. Not a day goes by without a threat of war. It is exhausting living this way. You think those men were trying to hide where they came from? They'd be wise to. The only time Reachmen and Nords meet is to kill each other. I always heard they were raiders and barbarians. No interest in honest labor. Or writing, for that matter. Not the sort to post job notices. So what do you think they really want? Who knows? Maybe they really do need laborers. Can't imagine Reachmen would hire Nords, so it doesn't make a lot of sense. Or else, what else? Uh, what else can you tell me about the job postings? Flyers. 
Save a hanging them at the inn around the city. Something about Okay. your help. Sea giants and vampires are everywhere. Okay, so we're gonna spend a lot more time in uh, Western Skyrim than we did in elsewhere, so we're gonna be doing a lot of side quests as well. Ash covered fragments. Fragments of pottery, possibly urns, litter the bottom of a hidden compartment beneath packing hay. A strange ash or dust covers the fragments. Alright, <clears throat> so we'll have to go talk to Lurus Titan one about that. But uh, what do you want? You look sturdy enough. Vampires and sea giants have invaded the island of Kynes Aegis. We need all the willing warriors we can find to repel the attack. What happened to Kynes Aegis? Like I said, a fleet of sea giants and vampires stormed the island, bent on slaughter. Our soldiers fought bravely, but the invaders pushed the last of our troops back to the keep. They'll land a decisive blow any minute. We need help. What can I do? Gather some stout allies and take this boat north to the island. Once you arrive, speak to Captain Lil Myra. Provided she's still alive, she'll lay out Thane Agvar's plan for defending the island. Okay, I'll speak with her. Kind preserve you, friend. With your help, we might have some hope of driving the vampires back. Not much, but enough. Wait a minute. Is this a trial? <laughs> yes, that looks like a trial. This is, uh, it's definitely a group event. So it will have to wait. I need a break. That's the wrong way. Let's head back this way and um What there is another quest down here? Yeah, yeah we just spoke to her, so we'll come back. So I'm gonna pick up all the side quests as we go along and then once we're done with the main story. We'll come back and sweep up all the side quests. I just don't want to get uh, sidetracked right now. So we'll finish up the main story, but we'll pick up all the side quests as we go along. And maybe we'll complete some of them. During the process of doing the main story. Okay, that's starting to feel a bit weird. this housing brochure now <clears throat> yeah! Hold up there young blood seeking brave souls and able bodies what's this about all right 
Um, an abundance of troubles plague the holds of Western Skyrim. We seek brave souls willing to risk life and limb in the pursuit of gold and glory for the benefit of the people of Halfingar, Jarl March, and Carthald. Talk to Silgrid, the moneylender in the city of Solitude, for details. Later. Let's first uh, talk to Luris. Seeking a reliable research they aren't fighting, they're fighting about no fear fighting. of death. Joran didn't mention he was sending you to Solitude. Not that I'm sorry to have you along. An extra blade is always welcome. As soon as Brandold shows up, we can get things started. Well, Brandold isn't coming, his dad. He's what? Damn it. Queen Gerhild will be here at any moment. Look, Her Highness is expecting to talk to me and my contact. I need you to pretend to be that contact, or this will go very badly. Uh, what's this all about? We can exchange intimate details of our lives later. Right now, just know that the safety of all of Skyrim, maybe even all of Tamriel, depends on how this meeting goes. So follow my lead and be on your best behavior with Her Highness. Follow your lead with what? Here what you... is Titanborn. Your reputation is known even here in the West. Is this one of your famed companions? No. But I assure you, my partner is one of the Scald King's best. Go introduce yourself, partner. <laughs> I am Gerhild, Queen of Skyrim. Allow me to welcome you on behalf of our kingdom, our city, and our hold. Who might you be? Pawbreaker, your majesty. The letter that preceded your arrival said an attempt was made on the Scald King's life. It indicated that High King Svalgrim would be next. My husband took that as an accusation and a threat. He will not meet with you, but I will hear you out. Well, I've witnessed some concerning things since I arrived here, Your Majesty. Have you anything that would persuade my husband? It will take some substantial evidence to convince High King Svagrim to heed the words of the hated Joran, the Skald King. There is evidence of Reachman activity around Solitude. Reachman transgressions will not be enough for Svalgrim to accept outside help. He's a prideful man, and the bad blood between him and Joran runs deep. I will speak on your behalf, but you and Lyris will need to bring me proof he cannot ignore. Okay, we'll find the proof. Thank you for alerting me to this situation. I am eager to see what else you uncover. I will do what I can, but be as discreet as possible. If you run afoul of my husband, he won't hesitate to return you to Joran, and not necessarily in one piece. So why is there bad blood between uh, Svagrim and uh, the Scald King? Eastern and Western Skyrim have been at odds since the kingdom was divided. Joran's ambitions for the Ruby Throne, however, have created a new level of tension. Forming alliances and raising armies for conquest... Should we not be wary of such a man? So Svagrim thinks Joran wants to take his over his kingdom? Frankly, yes. He believes Joran hasn't marched here with an army as yet, because the Western Holds are firmly united against Pact Rule. My husband is certain Joran plots to erode those allegiances. You will not easily earn the High King's trust. So what sort of proof will persuade our High King Svagrim to listen? You must convince my husband that a threat greater than Joran exists. Further, this threat must directly imperil the High King. Find proof of this, and I will assist you how I can. Helping to keep our hold safe will also allay his concerns. So what we've found so far isn't enough? It's enough for me to believe your intentions are sincere. Learn more about these suspicious activities you mentioned, then bring it to me. If this threat is as dangerous as Joran claims, prove it, and I will make my husband listen to reason. So a soldier accused me of being a spy. Are your people always so suspicious? My deepest apologies. Between the Reach to our south and the Ebonheart Pack to the east, our soldiers have come to see all outsiders as a potential threat. 
I will look into this. Vigilance cannot be allowed to become a bludgeon. You handled that better than I expected. Now what in Mara's name happened to Brondold? He was fleeing pursuit and gave me a bundle of papers before he died. Damn. Lucky thing he found you. Brondold was supposed to get the lay of the land before I got here. Without his information, my work for Euron the Scald King could be over before it begins. What did he give you? Hand it over. Hmm. Smugglers and Reachmen up to illicit business. Nothing unusual there, but Brondold thought it could be connected to the Coven. I'm sure a good investigator and you stepped into the role easily enough. Can I count on you to help me with this? What do you need me to do? Brondold mentioned some locals we should have a talk with. A snitch named Grega who likes to gamble in back alleys, and an orc named Mog who frequents the Lonely Troll Inn. Let's find them and see what they can tell us. Okie dokie. I'm not the first what Nord from the East to receive a chilly reception at the Blue Palace. Doubt I'll be the last. The Bard's College. Hard to imagine the Scald King spent his youth studying verse in this stodgy old kingdom. Okay, what is this? Peculiar bottle. Oh, is that you? Listen closely, you insufferable clod. I need you to find my notes and... Uh, wait, you're not Borfrey? I can tell from the lack of heavy breathing and sniffles. Who are you? Are you stuck in a bottle? Stuck in the bottle? No, no, no. This is a devious and very stubborn illusion. One that you now have the privilege of breaking. I was conducting some research, you see, and inadvertently triggered this spell. <laughs> Luckily, I know how to reverse it. So how do you reverse this spell? It's quite simple. I recorded the locations of three verses of a powerful incantation in my journal on the off chance something like this occurred. Acquire the verses, come back and dispel this illusion. I'll make it worth your while. I promise. Okay, okay. Well, my assistant Borfrey has my journal. Find it, read my notes, and acquire the incantation. Also tell him to come get me. Someone nearly took a swig of me. Oh, I suppose introductions are in order. I am Narcissus Dren, famed historian, etc. Okay, we'll we'll deal with we'll deal with that later. Yeah. All right, here we are. <laughs> hey, 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 hey! Don't step on the dice. There a reason you're interrupting our game, Hawk Face? <laughs> what? Brandold said you might know something about the smuggled goods from Sentinel. Don't know any Brandold. Don't know you. Either way, I got nothing to tell you. Get lost. I'm on a winning streak. Brandold's dead because of what's in those crates. They'll come for you too. Dead? That's a new one. Nothing Kasala usually moves through port is worth killing over. You didn't hear it from me, but she's the one picking up those shipments. Her warehouse is down on the docks. You want to know more? Go ask her. Okay. Castle Dower is a monument to the Western spirit. Stony and cheerless. What? Maybe is the it? new tower will liven up the place. Must be Mog. I have questions. Questions? <laughs> Happy to oblige. Buy a few rounds and let's chat. You're going to answer me, Orc, or. Hey! Nobody intimidates my friends. Princess Vanna. Who gave you the right to walk in here and bully my friend? Did my father send you? Why would your father send somebody to bully Ma? Because he doesn't like Ma. But I like Mog. Mog doesn't care that I'm a princess, and it doesn't matter to me that Mog's a scoundrel. If my father didn't send you, why are you threatening my friend? We wanted to ask if we saw the people putting up the job postings. Smelly bastards. Cheap, too. Wouldn't buy us a drink. They hung their flyers and left without saying a word. Then a different smelly bastard showed up to sign on workers. 
He was a charmer, though. You remember anything else about this charmer? <laughs> His breeches fit well. And he was handsome. Not a Nord. Breton, maybe? I didn't really listen to what he was saying. A half dozen workers left with him. Off to the Drudok Mountains or someplace. He hasn't been back since. Okay, thank you. Let's talk outside, partner. So we've got a mysterious Breton possibly working with Reachmen, recruiting workers for some unknown purpose. Plus, there's a smuggler hiding unknown contraband in a warehouse down by the docks. I say we deal with the smuggler first. Why the smuggler? We know where to find her, and we more or less know what she's up to. And if the two are connected, maybe the smuggler can help us narrow our search for the Breton. Ready to visit Casella's warehouse? Sure, let's go. Casella's warehouse. Just needs your help. One sentry. See giants and Let's try not to cause a scene. Everywhere. Private property. Get lost. Wait. A half giant? Is that Lyris Titanborn? Yes, you know her. Blood and Blade. Everyone knows Lyris Titanborn. What a woman. She's even larger than I imagined. No wonder she fought Swordmaster Sai Sahan to a draw. Wait. Is he here too? No, just us. We need to see Kasala. Until Kasala returns, I'd be happy to keep Fair Lyris company in her stead. Perhaps we could wait inside? Alas, Kasala doesn't allow visitors when she isn't here to conduct business. But we can wait out here. Do you think Lyris would autograph my ancestral scabbard? It would mean so much to my son. When I have one. Do you know if Lyris is betrothed? I'm not sure, but if you get your scabbard, she'd be happy to autograph it. <laughs> Oh, thank you, thank you! You don't know how much this means to me. I don't know what you... Good job with the sentry. You got rid of him and I didn't have to bash him or anything. See if you can pick the lock while I keep watch. Oh, actually, come to think of it, yes. <laughs> I was about to say, she doesn't strike me as being that big or tall. Because uh, my character is actually quite tall. I'm taller than maybe 70% of all character players. But yeah, look at that. She just towers over us. She's really, she's really tall. She's really big. All right, let's pick the lock. See what's in those marked crates. I'll watch the door. Ancient urn. Ashen bones. Reach ritual fetishes. Our shipments would return. Brought muscle this time, I see. More than you. Care to try me? I'll pass. I just want to know who's been meddling in my business. I had a feeling it wasn't just an opportunistic thief trying to steal my cargo. What are you after? Proof of a plot against the High King. Care to explain what's in the crates? A plot against the High King? Involving plundered antiquities from Hammerfell? Preposterous. I'm simply facilitating a transaction between treasure hunters and a rich collector. So, who am I paying the bribe to? 
You or the High King? What about these reach fetishes? Give me that! Tribal crafts my arse. I told that son of a skeever I don't deal in arcane goods. Especially ones from the reach. Nothing but sorrow comes from such business. This isn't cursed, is it? Well, who hired you to smuggle this? No name. Just instructions and gold. Shipments come in, I make sure no one looks too closely and wait for a pickup. Never see the same face twice. Last time it was a smooth talk in Breton with Nord laborers in tow. You want more? I need assurances. I'm sure we can work something out. They're taking the cargo to an abandoned lodge in the foothills north of Solitude. Occasionally used it myself when the city guard was being thorough. Want to catch them? Start there. If that's all, we're leaving. I'm not losing my head over this. Can you tell me anything else about the Breton and the laborers? The Breton was sly. Handsome even. Thought he could charm me into taking on additional shipments. Now that I know what's involved, the trouble isn't worth it. The Nords were local, hired hands from the Lonely Troll. You never check your cargo? I'm paid not to ask too many questions. This arrangement was a lucrative one. I trusted them, but it seems they took advantage of my natural greed. That won't happen again. Okay, well said. So we're going to take a break here, and uh, when we come back, uh, we'll pick up with the story.